how to add store policies and legal pages on Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can start adding legal pages and store policies in your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now I'm going to break this down step by step and you can easily open up the shipping policy template uploaded on the Shopify help page to follow along. Now, you don't have to start from scratch with typing the entire policy yourself. We are going to automate that process with AI, but I'm going to show you guys the things that you're going to have to edit and customize. Now, one thing to note is that there are certain things you need to include in your shipping policy, such as your basic shipping details, clear and concise presentation, order processing times, domestic and international shipping options, costs, local delivery, and pickup if you are providing in-store pickup. Then you also have transparency around returns, changes, and cancellations, as well as service interruptions. So these are things you need to include in your basic guidelines for shipping policies. Now, a lot of people might wonder, hey, store policies are not shipping policies. Well, a lot of things are included in store policies. There are three major variables in store policies, and I'll show you guys exactly where to find those. So the first thing you wanna do is head on over to your Shopify dashboard. And once you are on your Shopify dashboard, you're gonna click on settings on the bottom left. And after you click on settings on the bottom left, you're going to scroll down. And once you scroll down, you're gonna click on policies over here. Now over here, you're going to have some basic policies. First off, you have your return policy, then you're going to have your privacy policy, and then your terms of service, and then shipping policies. Then you have any contact information that might be required if someone is selling, you know, if someone is wanting to contact your business. So you're going to get started with writing each of these individual policies. Now we have these templates over here that can make life a whole lot easier, where you can get started with adding your shipping policies. So the first thing I'm going to do is get started with our shipping policy. You can go on ahead and go into ChatGPT. Now you're going to ask ChatGPT to write me a shipping policy for my Shopify store. And now what exactly to include in that policy? That is what you're supposed to link in. So what you're going to do is from this template over here, you're going to see a shipping policy in set essential. And now you're going to add these options, copy, and then you're going to ask it to include these things within the policy. And you can just paste that over here. We don't offer in-store pickup and our delivery times domestic are three to five days and no international shipping. You're just going to provide the basic factors that you have within your shipping policy. And now currently ChatGPT is writing the policy with this information. And I am going to just add this and paste it over here. And now after that, it's going to get started with building our shipping policy like this. And it's including shipping costs, returns, and cancellations. I'm not going to add those. I'm going to cut those out. But just let it write your entire policy. And then you can just copy it from here. Then you're going to go ahead and paste it. Now, over here, you're going to change some things. Don't just copy it exactly. First off, you're going to add your store name like this. And then once you enter your store name, you are going to add your domestic shipping, international shipping, in-store pickup, order processing times. Now, keep in mind that you also have a separate section for terms of service, privacy, as well as return policies. So I like to keep my in-store pickup and order processing times here, shipping costs as well. However, the returns section is going to be excluded from here. So once I have included this, you can remove the asterisks if you want, or you can just leave them as they are. And you can just click on save. Now, if you scroll down into the template policy that we have over here, this is our shipping policy, the rates. You can add the particular type of rates that you're offering. If you're offering a variable rate, I'm offering a flat rate. So in our flat rate policy, I don't have to necessarily display it in our shipping policies. You guys can see that we have our pricing. So shipping costs are calculated at checkout based on the shipping method and order total. 
total, we offer a free shipping threshold for qualifying orders. So you can add the specific price if you want, but I'm going to leave it as it is because I might have variable shipping and duties and taxes might are going to be incurred by the customer. So this is already included in our pre-existing policy. Now, after that, I like to go into the top policy, which is our return policy. Now, you can turn on your return rules and people can automatically return items without having to, you know, without you having to review them. So you can click on turn on and click on manage over here. Now, in this, you can build your return policy. So let's say people can return within 14 days and the customer would provide a return shipping and then after that, they can choose which kind of item that they cannot return. So let's say I don't take bottoms for returns. So these collections can't be returned. And then I'm going to click on save over here. Now, once you do that, you can go back and you're going to copy the first three points and then go into chat GPT and ask it to write me a return and refund policy. We don't offer refunds only store credit if the customer receives a broken torn or damaged item and then you're going to paste the three points returns accepted for 14 days customer provides returns shipping no restocking fee and items in the bottoms collection cannot be returned like this so you're just going to type in your basic info and then this will build it for you so now you guys can see the policy is being generated and this is going to also write the return process non-returnable items as well and then we're just going to copy this and then go into our store policies and you have your written return and refund policy and i'm going to type this right in and then after that we are going to edit you know the sections where you're supposed to add your store name and i am going to remove the last line because we already have a contact section and then like this you're going to build the rest of your policies as well so you guys can see it has our refunds added our return shipping and you're going to add your store name obviously wherever the section for store name is like this and then the return process so i did not give chat gpt the instructions for building our return process but it has contact our customer support team at this within 14 days. I don't want to include the return process in this, so I'm just going to cut it out and I can click on save over here. Now, there are two more types of policies you're supposed to build, which are going to be terms of service and contact info. Contact info is pretty basic, but terms of service can easily be generated by any AI tool. However, you might be wondering, hey, I've generated the policies, but where do I put them? And where do these legal pages go? Well, you always have to put them in your footnotes or in the footer of your website. So for that, you can go into your online store over here on the left panel and then click on customize. Once you click on customize, you're going to scroll down in your footer. And once you click on your footer over here, you will be able to see once you click on footer, just open up your online store, click on the footer on the bottom left. Once you do that, you're going to scroll down and then once you scroll down right below your policy links, you're going to click on show policy links. So for most stores, this is going to be unchecked. You're going to check on this and this will add the policy links in your footer. Now, you can always build separate pages and include those over here as well. And you can also create hidden pages where the policies are put in detail. That's totally up to you. Now, if we click on the privacy policy, this will display our privacy policy. And if we go on ahead and go into any other policy, so if we go into our shipping policy like this, you guys can see our shipping policy is currently being displayed. Now, you can add further sections within these pages for our policies as well. And then click on save on the top right to save these policies. So in this way, you can get started with making sure that your Shopify store is covered in all legal domains as well. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.